Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we have got another Thermoray product, and this time it is the Peerless Assassin 90 SE. Look how dirty it is. Okay then, so we have two coolers here from Thermoray. These are the Peerless Assassin 90 SE Black and the white version. Let's open them up and see what the both look like in terms of the overall color okay then so you're greeted with the accessory pack which will come with thermal paste come with all the am4 as well as intel brackets yeah then it comes with the little instruction manual this will tell you how to install it which is very handy because if you've never installed a thermal right cooler before it will tell you in what orientation the Mounting brackets for the motherboard do go, see, because they only go in one specific way, otherwise the cooler will not fit. Okay, and then you get this in, but there, that's for warranty and such. So, here we go. Ooh, it's tiny. Let's open this up. Now, look how dirty that is. Move this out of the way. That's a big of beauty for love. It's a tiny, it's like a little baby. Wow, this is dirty. Oh my. <laughs> Look how tiny that is. <laughs> that is dirty. Wow, this is really small. I know that this is meant to be like a version of the PLS Assassin, but unfortunately that is just too way too small. This is probably actually for like sub 100 TDP CPUs because the CPU I'm going to be putting this on is a 5900X and I don't think this is going to go well but that's the overall heatsink and then of course then it does come with a 90mm fan which these are one of their new fans which they haven't long released as well which does come with a P that's it it does come with a 4 pin PWM and ooh. Ooh, I like that. That looks nice. So, there's that one. Now, in terms of specifications, when it comes to the dimensions, 92mm by 92mm, that's the overall fan, as well as 25mm, that means that's the overall thickness. In terms of noise, 23.85 decibels, that's how loud that goes. The airflow is a 32.77 CFM, with a stat pressure of one point. 98 millimeter h2 or max with a connector is a four pin pwm like i said the bearing type is a sfdb bearing and that's pretty much when it comes to that but when it comes to the height of this it is 94 for length 94 for width as well as 110 millimeters in the height so that's how high it is off the cpu now let's check the white one and then there's the white Look how tiny that is. It's dirty. It's like a little baby. Now, the base plate, of course, does have four heat pipes. The base plate will definitely fit LGA as well as AMD CPU. So, let's get one of these on the test bench and test it out. This is the Thermorite PLS Assassin 90SE, a 50%. I'm going to put the mic up towards the fan and then pull away. Can't even hear it at 50%. Same thing, but a hundred percent fan speed. Even at 100%, it's barely noticeable. Okay, it's when it comes to the overall benchmarking, I did run two different tests 5900X at stock settings and then one with PBO enabled. So for the stock settings, 5900X runs, I did use Cinebench R23, Blender Pavilion, Blender Classroom, and 3D Mark Test. Each test does utilize the CPU differently, so that's why I use those specifically for testing. And the CPU did draw 145 watts during each test. So, idle Cinebench R23, 29 with a max of 76. Blender Pavilion, idles, 29 with a max of 74. Blender Classroom, idles, 29 with a max of 73. And 3D Mark Super Test, idles, 29 with a max of 73 Celsius once again. Now, when it comes to the 5900X with PBO enabled, 
During each test, CPU did draw 202 watts, but went down to 179 watts. And the overall CPU clock speed was 4.8 during the test, but went down to 4.1. So yes, at 202 watts, you do start to lose clock speeds, and I'm guarantee you any longer for the each run and it would start the thermal throttle so for cinebedge 23 idles 31 with a max of 90 blender pavilion idles 31 with a max of 89 blender classroom idles 31 with a max of 88 3d mark cp test idles 31 with a max of 78 celsius okay then so look you saw the unboxing you also heard the noise test you've also seen the overall benchmarking now what i will tell you is the reason why i use those specifically those specific benchmarks is because like 3D Mark CPU test, it will hit the CPU during that test differently. It's because it will do it from a multi-core stand, uh, standpoint, and then it will do a single core, and then it'll do a mix in between. So that is where you'll see those jumps and spikes and stuff like that. Now, obviously, I use Cinebench R23 because it's a very, very difficult instruction set for any CPU that's including Intel and AMD, and it will push any CPU or any cooler to its max. So that is why I use those specific benchmarks. I've had loads of comments asking me why I use those specific four. It's because they hit the CPU completely different. That's why. Now, back to the cooler. Now, yes, I've got two. I've got a black and I've got a white. Now, why they I sent two? I don't know. I did ask them right, but no comment. All they said was two. I was like, two? And all that came was two. I was like, okay, why two? I mean... I mean, probably because I, I don't know. It's not like I'm going to put a head to head with two, the exact same cooler but different colors. So, when it comes to this little cooler, now, the overall fan, 100%. Now, yes, with my microphone, you will hear it loud. You will hear it because it's right up against the fan. But the further you pull away, as you could hear, the further away I pulled my mic away, the less you could hear it. Now, that is very good because this, while during the testing, I did have this in my 800FX. This has got four 140 fans, the light wings from Be Quiet, and they, they were all also at 100%. So was this. I could use the case fans over, the, over this fan. They have got another PLS Assassin version. They've got the 140. That's one that I'm actually waiting to get now hopefully i'll be getting that by next month because it's not actually available in the uk at this present moment why i don't get them otherwise i, I don't know it's something i'll have to ask um thermal right but still now for a little cooler it's a little bit pricey at this present moment it's 31 pound now that is for the white version mind so the price will come down as new products from Thermalright come to the overall Amazon market or even in different parts of the world, the prices are always high at the beginning, but then they start to go down in price due to the fact there's more demand. Now, with this particular one, I think £30 for this is a little bit high for me, but that's my personal opinion. Whether you agree with that, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to say you shouldn't buy it or you should buy it, but... What I'm going to tell you is it gets while she takes recommendation for something this small, it handles 59 extra stock settings with no issues. So, yeah. Also, the mount ends a lot easier. Much easier. So, yeah. Look, I'm hoping to get the 140 in. So, make sure you subscribe for that. That one, I have asked about, they said, sometime in October. So, hopefully, yeah. I've got stuff here from Camdas. I've got stuff here from PC Cooler. I've got stuff here from... QNAP, I've got stuff here from basically loads of different brands. So make sure you subscribe because while she Tech's going through a bit of a surge at the moment, we are, I am pushing loads of emails out daily to try and get as much product in for you guys so you guys can see what is good and what is not. So make sure you subscribe. And as always, this is Richard for Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.